Hi guys, welcome to my channel Drug of Football. My name is Vila Paris Germain. The roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of... According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4-3-3. Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. And that gets things running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, I think we can expect to see more than a few moments of individual brilliance with Neymar on the pitch, Peter. He's got such a silky touch, he can ghost past defenders, and he can pass and shoot with the very best. If you're looking for someone to take your breath away, this is the guy for me. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. That's put paid to a promising move. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. He's got options out wide. Oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. And he's cut it out. And it's Di Maria. Well, that's where he wants it. Rondon, looking to get within range, Neymar, and it's Di Maria, he's away, hoists it forward, Rondon plays it out to the wing, Rondon, he's got the ball, oh, shooting chance! He does it all with an air of efficiency and simplicity. Well, how's that for composure, Peter? You can see the keeper tried to put as much pressure on him by staying upright, but it didn't phase him, not in the slightest. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. That's not going to make it. Forward it goes. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Rincon. That's a foul, free kick's been given. And it's Neymar. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Was asking just too much of him. Well, it's a 
scoreline to raise the eyebrow. 1-0 to the underdogs. Florenzi cuts it out. Danilo Pereira. Paris Saint-Germain have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. He's made sure that that won't get through. Kimpembe. Florenti drives it towards the front. Played towards the front men. Kimpembe. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Kozawa. Tries a shot! Could move up a gear here. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Florenzi. And it's Di Maria. Mbappe gets it, and now what? Mbappe! And now they can launch a counter. Neymar. Di Maria. Could be the real chance! Goal! Half time rapidly approaching. That could be a big one. Paris Saint-Germain are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, I think this is a case of anything you can do, we can do too. I mean, they're matching each other like for like here. Well positioned to make that interception. And so we're off again. Idrissa Gay. Florenzi tries to switch the play. That's clear cut, it's a free kick. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Played into space out wide. He's left his man. Marco Verratti. Florenzi. Florenzi with the crossfield ball. Neymar. Marco Verratti. Mbappe. Goes for it! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Right through the middle. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. It's a fabulous position. Oh, Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. That's a throw. Has he found his man? And it's Neymar. Florenzi. Di Maria tries to head towards goal. Florenzi could try cutting inside here. Neymar.
Neymar has alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Keylor Navas sends that a long way. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Kozawa gets his final warning. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. Now can he go in for goal? He scored! And again they hit the front. What about that, Jim Beglin? I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. So we have a breakthrough. Now, how will things develop from here? Across the field it goes. Florenzi. Di Maria. Gets the better of his man. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Florenzi. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. And Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Crunching tackle. And he heaves it forward. Venezuela are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Keeper sends it forward. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Venezuela are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Gets wrestled off the ball. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Can't get the better of his opposite number. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Paris Saint-Germain have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Di Maria could cross it here. Carries far too far and out of play. Bernat. Look, their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. Di Maria plays it out to the flank. And that's that. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch. Just one between them. Your reflections then, Jim. Venezuela have just 